everyone, today's video is going to be a new in Starbucks taste test. Starbucks have released quite a few new items recently that I've been very excited to try. I mean, I say recently, I feel like these things have been out a good month or so now, but I haven't got around to trying them because I wanted to sit down and film this video. So I've held off buying anything just so I could film my reaction for you guys. So today I've picked up a new drink and a new sandwich to try. There were actually quite a few things that I wanted to pick up this time round. But if I'm honest, I feel like Starbucks is very overpriced. When I see people filming these videos where they've bought like the entire Starbucks range, I just, I can't deal with that because that's like 50, 60 quids worth of just drinks and sandwiches and cakes that probably will get wasted. So I'm not really about that. I'm trying to save money at the moment. So I just picked up a couple of things I'm gonna have for my lunch today and I figured I could just chat and share my thoughts with you guys while I try them. So the first thing that I picked up is a drink. I'm gonna try this first because I feel like it might be getting cold and it did originally have whipped cream on, which I feel like might be a little bit melted now, but this is the salted pretzel hot chocolate. In terms of new drinks that Starbucks have out at the moment, they also have a frappuccino version of this, and then they have a honey and hazelnut oat latte and a caramelized macadamia oat latte, which is the one that I actually really wanted to try, but they didn't have that in my store. So I've gone for the hot chocolate instead, which I have to say, aren't generally my thing. I'm definitely more of like a coffee over a hot chocolate person. I don't have a huge sweet tooth a lot of the time, so I might not be the best person to try this, but I was very, very intrigued by the fact that it's pretzel flavored because I just can't in my head picture what that's gonna taste like. The way that Starbucks described this is sweet and salty pretzel complemented by rich chocolate notes finished with chocolate whip and crunchy pretzel pieces. So I didn't have the chocolate whip, I changed that to the vegan whipped cream instead and I got it with soy milk. So I'm gonna give this a try. I feel like I've very much been shortchanged with this. I noticed when I was walking home that it felt incredibly light. And considering I've had like the tiniest sip, I mean, you guys aren't gonna see that because it's just white. This feels like it's like three quarters full, which is kind of not ideal when you've just paid, I think like four pound 50 for it or something insane. But the cream has survived. So I'm glad that I can actually try it in it's like full form. Gosh. I just love whipped cream. That is one sweet thing that I'm a big fan of. And now that they have it in Starbucks, and I think they even have it in Costa now, or maybe some select Costas, makes my day because I feel like that was like a big thing that was missing when you go out for hot drinks. I don't really know how to feel about this. I feel like it's not super strong with any flavor. It's not overwhelmingly sweet, but that might be because I've only had a few sips. I feel like I get a very light undertone of the pretzel. It's not strong in any sense. It's literally like an aftertaste, a little hint of pretzel flavor. And it's even then it's not really pretzel flavor. It's like just a, a little bit of like a savory flavor. It kind of reminds me of like salted caramel kind of drinks, like a salted caramel hot chocolate. I wouldn't say this stands out as being pretzel flavored, but maybe that's just because I haven't had a pretzel flavored hot chocolate before. So I don't know what that would taste like. Overall though, that's definitely not bad. I feel like I might even prefer that to normal hot chocolate. It just doesn't seem quite as sweet to me. So I think I'd give that like, for what it is, an eight out of 10. In terms of like me getting it again, if I really fancied a hot chocolate, I would get it again. But otherwise I think most of the time I wouldn't really reach for this. And I think if you were really excited for like the pretzel flavor, I think you'd be disappointed with this. But if you're just after like a, a salted hot chocolate, I think this would do the trick. Okay, so now for the food item that I picked up, this is definitely what I'm most excited about. I almost bought this a few weeks ago. I think I was maybe when I was coming back from Amsterdam at the airport, they had this. Almost tried it then, but I held off. This is the no beef and red onion focaccia. So the way that this is described is succulent soya beef strips with pickled red onion, plant-based bechamel, plant-based mayo, and coconut alternative to cheese in a rosemary topped focaccia. Little bit of a mouthful. I absolutely love focaccia though, so I feel like you can't really go wrong. I don't tend to reach for beef options very often. I've tried like the steak one uh, from Subway, and recently I've got a few different beef strips, one from Aldi and one from Dopsu, I believe. So I've had that a couple of times, but generally I tend to reach for like plant-based chicken things than plant-based beef. So I'm excited to give this a try. Also just noticed that they start my name, Poppy with an IE, which, I don't know, just tickles me. Ever since I've seen like TikToks and things about like the marketing scheme behind people misspelling names and things, it's all very interesting. So I feel like that must be deliberate because I'm not sure anyone spells it IE unless you're talking about like plural of the flowers. But either way, let's see what this looks like. 
Okay, so this definitely looks really, really good. They warm it up in store and it's still warm now, despite the 15 minute walk home. It smells really good. It's definitely a strong smell. Like as soon as I walked in and got this out of my bag, I was like, okay, I definitely can smell something going on. This is a bit of a close up of what it looks like. I mean, the top looks incredible. The middle doesn't look too glam but I feel like you just can't go wrong with focaccia. I feel like every sandwich should be made in focaccia bread because it's just, it's so good. Okay, that first bite was literally just bread. And I've just opened this up and I feel like in terms of things on this, they have been incredibly stingy. Like, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this if it focuses. On this side, we've got a few pieces of the beef. There's like a couple of pieces of pickled onion, a couple of pieces of rocket or something on this side, which look very sad. I can't see any cheese. I can't see any bechamel, although I think that's just kind of all melted into the bread. And then I can see a little bit of mayo, but it's not, it's not the most generous portion, I would say. And I feel like every mouthful is not gonna have like everything in it. It's quite sparse with some things and it's not very evenly distributed so i think i'm gonna have to have a few bites of this before i can actually taste like everything all together okay i may or may not have just put a bunch of rosemary from the top of that focaccia on my bedroom floor but overall i think that's it's okay i think i'm a little bit disappointed with it i think taste wise it's okay texture wise i like it the bread's good it feels soft the beef is actually a really nice texture it's like a lot thinner than other vegan beefs that i have tried more similar to say like the subway beef i think than like the beef i've tried from dopsu or audi i think it could do with something a little crunchier in it i don't know if that's just because where it's been heated everything's been quite softened but like the onions aren't crunchy the rocket is obviously very soft so i think it could do with something a little bit crunchy in there just to give a little bit of a different texture and then in terms of flavor i don't know it just it isn't anything life-changing which i guess no one expects when they go to starbucks but it just isn't super strong i think like the pickled onions i absolutely love pickled onions you can't taste them at all so it almost feels like what's the point in having them in there if it's not adding anything to the taste and it's not adding anything to the texture i think it could be good with maybe like crispy onions or just more of the pickled onions and actually having that like pickled flavor and then the mayo and the cheese and the bechamel kind of just all blends into one so i don't know if all of it's kind of needed they might as well just put maybe the bechamel in there and i think that would probably have the same effect or just do the mayo because i think the way it's cooked and it's all merged together you really can't differentiate them i couldn't even see them when i opened it so i don't know how much is in there but yeah i don't think overall the flavor is anything too amazing but at the same time it's not bad i'm still going to very much enjoy this and i think if starbucks was the only option available to me i would get this again over say their like breakfast sandwich or like a falafel wrap i would always choose this but yeah just not blown away by it i think i'd give it like a 7 out of 10 if you've tried either of these things recently by the way please let me know in the comments below what your thoughts of them were very intrigued to know when it's just me or if other people think the same as me but yeah i think that's my conclusion i'd get them both again but probably wouldn't go out of my way to get them if they were the only option, I would have both of these things. And I do think in terms of Starbucks options, the sandwich in particular is a good vegan option. It's nice to see them trying something different. I've not seen anything like this at other cafes, so definitely have to give them props for that. And I just hope they bring out more of that like focaccia style sandwich. I feel like the classic mozzarella, basil pesto, maybe vegan chicken vibes on that focaccia bread would be incredible. So that's my message to Starbucks. If you're watching, please bring out more sandwiches that are vegan using that bread because the bread is really, really good. So that has been today's video. I feel like it probably was very quick because I only tried those two things. In terms of other new items that Starbucks has got out at the moment that I'm excited to try at some point, They've got a couple of cakes that I saw that I've not personally tried before. So one of them is a banana caramel muffin, which I'm kind of regretting not picking up because I think that sounds incredible. It's described as a plant-based banana muffin with banana coins and plant-based caramel injection. Like that does sound really good. I'm a big fan of like banana bread and banana cakes and things like that. And I feel like muffins are actually really hard to find as a vegan. I've not had very many good vegan muffins other than I think the double chocolate caramel one, which I think was Starbucks at one point. And then they've also got a raspberry and almond mini loaf, which is almond mini loaf cake with raspberry jam injection topped with plant-based frosting, freeze-dried raspberry pieces and flaked almonds. Don't know what it is with injections and Starbucks at the moment, but yeah, they did have a couple of cake options as well, which 
am slightly regretting that I didn't pick up, but I will enjoy this and I feel like with the hot chocolate I'm gonna get my sweet fix anyway. But otherwise, I think that is everything for today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.